Hello and welcome back to the video tutorial. Today we're going to uh, take a second look at the face on what we did earlier and uh, we're gonna uh, clean it up a bit and maybe organize it a bit more. Um, there's a there's a five-sided hair that I missed so we'll clear that up and uh, we will clean this area up here. So it's probably about the 30 minute job here so this is what we're gonna do. Um, I want to reroute his eye so that the flow kind of goes up this way, not down towards the nose. It may look good, but <clears throat> to me, I'm kind of I'm kind of picky here. So um, what I'm going to do is kind of uh, grab these two vertices here, and then you connect them, and then you do the same one below. Okay, and then you just take this out, uh, take this one out here, and then we can uh, connect this one and you lead that down that way and now we have an extra uh, geometry here we can clean up so we can uh, ring this right it goes all the way over here like that right down to the bottom of the nose and then what you do is you collapse that down here okay now we may lose a little bit of detail but not too much but your geometry is still there right and we're gonna have to clean this area a bit more because it's a bit too close to the uh, edge of this nose here. Um, so by doing that, we're gonna have to organize your mesh flow a bit more by moving these out a bit, just to make things, uh, you know, organized. So let's bring these out a bit, like so. seems to be okay like this as you can see the nose is, is very almost the same but you don't notice the difference when you're at this this angle we're not going to be this close all the time to the character right all right so just keep organizing your mesh flow a bit more and uh, what I want to do today is also create more volume in the face so We'll get to that now. What I'm talking about in this area here, um, we need more volume here, right? So what I'm gonna do is push this uh, edge towards the, the nose. So by doing that, we just go like this, just push everything aside and uh, just compress it down a bit, like so. When, remember when you uh, edit the <clears throat> the front side, you I mean you have to edit the uh, left or right side as well so that you don't mess things up. So just slowly move your way this way. Don't worry about that area. We'll have a I have a way to fix that. Let's just take this out. As you can see, we have a whole mess here. So play with that later Let's fix this up a bit and you can move this up a bit more to make the round chin area like this we're gonna have a big gap here so that <clears throat> we can connect this later on and even things up a bit Notice the chin isn't matching up it's because of my references in the past it didn't uh, didn't line up quite well. So 
That's that, I guess. Alright, so almost there, so then we just connect um, these edges. I should do it this way so you guys can understand. So you go ring this, uh, you connect that over, and then you join up the dots here and there. Okay. And uh, um, can I go like this? Collapses down. Yes, I can. So what I'm gonna do is grab this, ring this, goes up here like that way. It collapses down. Okay. Where's that collapse button? There you are. All right. So now that we have a similar, almost a cleaner face, but uh, we'll still have to adjust the volume of it now by uh, even things up. Sort of like this area. And that pushes off towards the side of the face. And give it some volume. As you can see, it's straight, right? So don't be afraid to give it more, just a little bit of volume here, like that. Oops, all right. Even this area here, just uh, do your best. Maybe that can come down a bit like this. So I'll go here and this way, etc., etc. How does that look like? Okay, so now we have all the geometry in place. So now what we have to do is just uh, sort of match it to the image on a side view. And how we can do that is just by flipping back and forth and uh, play with your vertices and have your stacks on like this. And you just slowly eyeball it and how this is going to look like. This looks like he has a really pudgy face here. And this comes in a bit like that. So just really uh, push things out and and do your best to uh, match up the face there. The front view is kind of hard to see. Um, there's some areas where you're gonna have to just eyeball it, I guess, and do your best. Even the littlest uh, polygon can be adjusted, like like the one down here, I guess. Uh, looks like that's not the one I wanted. It's this one. Just uh, bring it out just a tad.
Maybe we can bring this in just a bit more. Not too much though. Talking about like this. Just a tad. We can uh, later drop this in ZBrush and, and uh, sculpt in the shape you want. But sometimes people don't have ZBrush and this might be the only way to do it, right? So. So let's start fixing the back of the head here. That's where I misstepped this area. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, reconnect that like this. Uh, connect those edges. Okay, line them up. And I think what I'm going to do, hopefully this works, is just collapse this area down. Uh, you ring that, you uh, collapse it like this okay and it, it cleaned up a bit but uh, the results will still be the same uh, this is not as strong so oh, looks like the shoulders are not lined up but we're not worried about the body at the moment just the head okay so and what also I what I notice on this model is that uh, his eyes are not completely matched up, and uh, can always fix that uh, later. So I'm just really nitpicking on just little tiny areas, and you can do this for hours and hours and hours just to get things right so really it's up to you and how do you want to complete this one but this is how I generally how to finalize how I finalize my meshes throughout this process is to keep pushing and pulling until you meet up your uh, standards so I'm just gonna pretend that I I finished it for you guys so like wow that's amazing and uh, that's what I generally do I um, just double check things and make sure everything's quads uh, so that uh, uh -huh, see this area here so it's a good thing to double check things you just uh, take that edge and backspace that and now it's a quad it may look funny but okay so you got that weird edge there hmm Okay, just spread it out and soften it up. So, so that's generally how I do it. And so once everything is finalized, I'm happy with everything. The way the flow is is all right, like this. Then. Um, you know, I'll fix the eyes later on, but just to show you guys what I do. I then, it's finalized, I'm good to go. I right click, convert to poly. And then, and once I do my texturing, I then unsymmetry it, unsymmetry it and then try to match a face even more. And that's the final level. But at this stage, you do not delete or create 
any more polygons. This is as far as you're going to go. But what you're allowed to do at this stage is just move around uh, verts. Okay? And that's all you have to do. Okay, I hope you really enjoyed m all my video tutorials. Um, I'm really thinking about uh, doing an unwrap video tutorial for you guys. Maybe. It really depends. And uh, texturing it, projecting mapping it from front and then your left view, and then you combine these images together in Photoshop. But again, maybe, I'm not sure. Oh, I, uh, uh.